In this last video, I want to show you how you can replicate a similar type of search in Google. I think Google will be super useful for you guys as well. Um, even though the library will have a lot of immediately credible sources, um, like I said, a lot of people who work in urban planning don't necessarily publish through academic means and therefore you might find some news or some examples of similar projects from municipal websites using Google. Um, so I'm going to show you just a different example here. Um, again, we're using that sort of puzzle piece methodology where we're combining two different keywords or keyword phrases at, at a time. I'm going to look up pages, web pages or documents on Google that talk about urban design and that talk about greenways. Um, I'm just going to say greenway, um, although in Google it's less specific, so if you say greenway or greenways you will actually get results from both. So there's my two keywords and I'm going to search for that. Now if I look down, I'm just going to see what I find here. Now there's some, these, uh, these results here, like this one, this one, this one, They're, they actually are kind of um, academic articles, which is interesting. But this is kind of interesting too. Here we have a news story, um, but it's from SFU, about a new study on Vancouver's Arbutus Greenway. And let's see what this is about. Can urban planning affect health and well-being? Wow, if you have any aspect of your project that in this particular example has to do with turning part of that space into a greenway, this would be a perfect, perfect resource for you. So let's see here. Yeah, this is really neat. So there's lots of d detailed information here that you could use that could help you uh, with your project. I think one of the reasons that slightly more, um, more like official or academic -y results came up is because we used that phrase urban design. Um, look at this, there's a PDF here about a greenway in Victoria, that's awesome. Greenways in Hastings Parks. It knows where I am geographically, so that's one of the reasons why it's giving me such relevant results. So all of these results talk about these different greenways and the urban design components of them. So I think this is really different than if you just did a search um, in Google for greenways. Like you can see, most of the results that come up when I just search for greenways are more um, information from the city about the greenways that they have, but they're tailored for more of like the audience of the public who is actually going to use the greenways. Um, and that's a different kind of information than you guys want because you are part of the team that's proposing and planning the greenways. So using urban design with greenways um, clearly brought us a lot better results. So that's something to think about for sure. You know, normally I would say that it actually doesn't matter whether you say Greenway or Greenways, but it actually kind of changed my results. So play around with that a little bit because that might help you too. Um, let me try something different. So let's see here. What other kinds of things were people talking about in their in their proposals. A lot of you proposed murals. So I'm going to try something here. I'm going to do urban design again and I'm going to say murals. And we're going to see what comes up. Okay, interesting. So we are seeing some useful stuff here. There's going to be a lot more of these sort of like Pinterest collections of images of murals, but there's nothing wrong with that from an inspiration perspective. Let's look at this one as an example. The power of public art, how murals beautify cities and build communities. Okay, well, so many of you talked about how the mural would beautify that alley and help build community. So here's something that's directly on that. But here's a question you might want to ask yourself is like, what kind of source is this? So it's not like, it's not a news article, it's not a book from the library, it's not an academic article. What is this? Um, 
you can see here that it's part of someone's blog, Optico's blog. Okay, luckily they have an About tab, so let's see what that says. Okay, so this is in Richmond, California. It's a consultant. A team of urban designers, architects, and strategists who can help you find new solutions to the most challenging housing and community issues of our time. Okay, so you know what? I would argue that these people are experts within the field of urban design. And um, I, this is exa a, a perfect example of how not everything that you're going to find can be through the library because a lot of these people don't publish their stuff through those channels, right? Um, so this is a blog post about murals, building a sense of community, and the results of beautifying a space. Perfect. So again, I don't know, it'll be up to you guys to come to these sources and try to determine how useful they are for you. But there's, there are things that you can find in Google that will be helpful to you. Which I just kept going to the second page here. Okay, so this is the downtown, this is the city of Nelson, which is in BC. And I want to know what their urban design strategy has to say about murals. Okay. Let's scroll down a little bit here. Okay, they're talking about paving. Um, this actually is the kind of thing, for the, those of you, who, like there was one group I know that talked about removing bricks and adding lighting to them. If you have any component of the flooring or not like the the ground space, like these this kind of thing could be useful for you too. But let's see here. Landscaping. A lot of you guys talked about adding trees and greenery, so things like this are helpful. Planting green space. See, like this kind of stuff just isn't available through the library. It's directly from the municipality of Nelson and it's examples of what they've actually done. Public art. Okay, here we go. All right. Yep, so they're talking about what they're doing with public art in the city of Nelson. Um, they use their sidewalks to display public art, which is really interesting. And here's their section on murals. All right. And they have got a whole bunch of guidelines here for you know, how the murals should be set up and so forth. You can totally borrow this stuff and cite this as your source. This is the urban design strategy for the city of Nelson. And this is what I love so much about Google is that if you use keywords, and I feel like urban design was the ticket here, um, if you use the right keywords, you can pull out those municipal government sources that just aren't found in the library. So make sure that you guys do use Google in this way. You don't have to use the term urban design. Again, use that puzzle piece, method, piece methodology where you're trying different things. See what comes up differently when you do urban planning. You know, um, see what the different results are. If you type in city planning murals, I obviously can't type, but that's okay. See what's different. I think this is going to really add a beautiful dimension to your to your projects.